What's going on everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's E and K where today I'm over at Taco Bell to check out their latest breakfast promo to see if it's really worth getting up early for. And being that I just so happen to be up early right now, I'm about to find out. So guys, stay tuned because the Bell Breakfast Box is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. All right, so here we go with the Bell Breakfast Box. And I have to say, we've got a nice selection of morning favorites over here at Taco Bell to go in on. This presentation is looking pretty nice. Starting off with the Grande Toasted Breakfast Burrito split in half for you. What this one consists of is a warm flour tortilla filled with eggs, a three cheese blend, normally tomatoes, and your choice of bacon or sausage. And I obviously decided to go with bacon. You can get steak for a small upcharge of a dollar, but guys, let's just keep it real. Bacon is where it's at in the morning. And while Grande is a little bit of a stretch for it, considering the size, it does look pretty packed. But off to the side to go with it, we've got a nice looking hash brown, guys. Fairly crispy looking, and I have to say the size on that is absolutely oversized. It looks pretty nice. For dessert, we've got a two pack of their fan favorite Cinnabon Delights filled with that macaron icing on the inside, guys. You gotta love that, the name brand goodness for sure. And to top it all off, to wash it all down, we've got a medium drink of your choice. And in this case, I decided to go with a regular iced coffee, a very lovely situation, and it's definitely looking very inviting. So there you go, this is the Bell Breakfast Box here at Taco Bell. Let's peep out this flavor. Well, I don't know about Grande because I've definitely had bigger breakfast burritos than this, guys, but even still, it looks very, very toasty. And on the inside, it is fairly sizable, as you can see here. The bacon is pretty plentiful along with the potatoes and, of course, the cheese that's buried in there along with the fluffy eggs. But even still, guys, Grande, I don't know about that. But let's just get into this. I'm pretty much going to take a little taste of everything here and then we'll rate it for the overall value at the very end. But I'm excited, guys, because it's early in the a.m. and I'm not really an a.m. person. So let's just get this party started, guys. It's the all-new Bell Breakfast Box here at Taco Bell. Let's peep this out. It's tasty, though. It is. <laughs> just that first bite alone, I got a lot of bacon, guys. It is very smoky. They really packed this together. As you can see, this is loaded very nicely with the cheese, with the egg. Definitely a lovely situation. And you know what? Let me wash it down with some of that medium iced coffee. Hang on. Mmm. That really is the wild card, I think, with this particular promo, guys, because, guys, it's frosty, super delicious, and I'm definitely loving the look of that. Plenty of cream and sugar on the inside of this one as well. I decided to go with three and three because they ask you. And, guys, that really is the perfect amount for this. Take it from me seriously. Three and three. Three cream, three sugar. Pretty banging. Oh, yeah. Very, very tasty. All right, another couple of bites on this, and then we'll get into the other goodies real fast here. But again, plenty of bacon, guys. I am totally digging the amount of bacon in this one. It almost feels like a bacon burrito with all the rest of the ingredients being the side note to this. I'm not complaining. It's still pretty tasty. Let's keep going in. Mm. Here's some more money shots for you guys. And again, I really can't get over how much bacon I have in this burrito. This is pretty much one of the biggest portions of bacon I've had in a breakfast burrito yet from Taco Bell. And I have to say, it goes very nicely with the toastiness on the outside of this. So it's a lovely situation of breakfast goodness. And you really can't fade the fact that the swine is mighty fine on this. And hey, being that this is Taco Bell, how can I not go in on one last bite before we move on to the next items over here without going in on some hot sauce? And in this case, this is gonna prove it to me right now. Hopefully we're gonna see the fire goodness with a little bit of this action, let's get it ready. I mean, you gotta do a little bit of sauce or something here, right? Let's just give this a go. Yes, sir. Hopefully that's staying focused for you. Lovely situation. I love the fire sauce over here. I mean, nothing against Diablo and the other ones. Fire is like a good balance across the board. Let's just go for it. Mm. And with all that bacon and the potato to go with that, that definitely works. Really nice. Yeah, that is very, very tasty. Another swig. Mm. Don't sleep on the iced coffee and literally don't sleep period on this box so far, guys. It is really good. Nice stuff all around. Okay, let's go in on this here. We break this towards you. Take a look. This feels very oily right now, guys. Very oily and very greasy. And I have a feeling it's going to. I can feel it on my fingers. It's like falling apart right now. And man, the tray that I'm using right now is kind of wet underneath these napkins. It's crazy. Let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah. No. Can't do this one any more than that bite. Crazy oil on this. I think this one was sitting too long on the inside. And honestly, it looks like it could have gone just a little bit longer, but they should have drained it just a little bit more. It's very fresh. That could be the reason why I'm doing this really early in the morning, but still very, very oily on that. So no bueno on the hash brown. 
McDonald's is still where it's at as far as I'm concerned. It's nice that they throw this into the box, but at the same time, crazy oily. All right, let's go for this one to round it out. And obviously the Cinnabon Delights are a banging situation over here. Just a lovely combination of name brand Cinnabon goodness done the Taco Bell way. Let's get into this one. And if you're wondering, yes, this does feel a little oil in my fingers right now as well. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh. It makes me want to get a real Cinnabon. Every time I have these, these are really good. And take a look at that action on the inside right there. Love it. That cream goodness. Mmm. How do you pronounce it? Is it Makara? Makara? Whatever it is, it's Cinnabon name brand goodness and it's banging. Mmm. Oh man, it's worth it just for this, it really is. Guys, take a look at that. Plenty of creamy action and definitely a banging situation. And of course, it goes amazing with iced coffee. Even if you get the Cinnabon Delight version of this, it's a small upcharge here in Southern Cali, it's like 40 cents, not bad. Regular iced coffee is all you really need because you have the combination of this together. So if you don't wanna spend the extra 40 cents with inflation going crazy right now, still, this is a pretty nice combo. One more bite and we'll close this one out. Hang on. Mm. Well, if you're down with the breakfast over here at Taco Bell, or even if you're mildly interested in it, I have to say this $5 box is the way to go by far because considering the Grande Toasted Breakfast Burritos are about four bucks on their own here in Southern Cali, it's a no-brainer to go for this. And considering what you're getting, a little bit of everything, really. I mean, along with dessert and then the iced coffee you can choose. If that's not really your thing, you can always go with a soft drink naturally. Guys, the value is high, and what you're getting is fairly sizable, even though the Grande name is just a little bit of a stretch. Just a little. And given that you do have the option to go in on the sausage version of this one outside of bacon for no extra charge, that's actually a very good deal. But if you're curious about the steak variant, I actually reviewed that a while back. Take a look at that review jumping up on your screen here right now for the details on that. Guys, it's nice to have the option, but like I said, bacon is where it's at as far as I'm concerned in the morning. Or sausage if you're down with that as well. Alright, so with all that said, I'm going to have to give the Bell Breakfast Box here at Taco Bell the obvious 10 out of 10. Like I said, the value is pretty high on this, guys. Considering the burrito and the drink alone are pretty much the $5 price point, you're pretty much getting dessert and the extra hash brown thrown in for good measure. The quality is pretty decent, and like I said, if you go with bacon, that's really the way to go. The version I had was packed with the goods, and I was down with that for sure. An easy recommendation if you can get up early, and even though I'm not really a morning person, like I said, I would pretty much get up to do this again. It was pretty fun. All right, so two questions. First and foremost, drop some comments down below. Are you down with Taco Bell breakfast? Because I'd venture to guess if you've made it this far into the review, you probably are. And second, do you agree with my assessment with this one? Is this worth $5 for you? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yes, sir, some pretty tasty breakfast goodness over here at Taco Bell with this one, but as tasty as this was, and believe me, it was, I think you know that by now, it's time for me to get back to bed. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews, but just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.